Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I will show you if you are facing a problem on your iPhone or iPad device that your carrier may charge for SMS message used to activate iCloud. So if you are getting this type of pop-up on your iPhone or iPad device, then here in this video, I will show you how you can fix this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So now let's get started how you can fix this type of error on your iPhone or iPad device. So first of all, here you will need to close this tab. After that here you will need to open setting on your iPhone device. Then after that here you will need to scroll it below tab on general. Then here scroll it below tab on date and time in here. Make sure that your iPhone date and time is correct and the set automatically is selected from here. And the time zone is also selected correctly. Then after that here you will need to go back. Then after that here tap on software update and here make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. If you don't have an updated version of iOS then you will have to update your iPhone device to the latest version. Then after that here you will need to remove SIM card and reinstall the SIM card on your iPhone or iPad device and check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem then you after that you will need to again open setting. Then here scroll it below tap on general scroll it below tap on VPN and device management and here make sure that you are not connected with VPN. If you are connected with VPN then you will have to disconnect with VPN and then after that here you will need to scroll it below tap on transfer or reset iPhone then tap on reset then after that tap on reset network settings then after that enter here your iPhone passcode. So after that here you will have to restart your iPhone device by typing on the volume up button then volume down and after that here you will need to press the power button until the Apple logo appears. So after that after all these settings hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to fix this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.